Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. It is a hot July day, but we're gonna check what the crowds are like, ride some rides and eat some food, and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I think we're gonna start off the day by heading straight through the castle and back to Fantasyland. There's a ride back there that I've been wanting to ride for a while, and it's actually one of my all-time favorites, and I feel like I haven't rode it in probably a good couple months, so today seems like a beautiful day enough to do it. 94 degrees here in Orlando, but it feels like it's 105. Like, I feel so, so hot. It's like 100% humidity, and I've got my headband, so I'm gonna try to keep as cool as possible, but also enjoy the park, and that's gonna be a, a challenge for the next couple weeks because this is the hottest season of Florida, I feel like. You can't go wrong, though, with starting off the day by walking through Cinderella Castle, though. It's so majestic in here. Ooh, and I can hear the music. There are so many cool details inside Cinderella Castle, but I want to show you guys my favorite. Obviously, everything inside here is beautiful, but what I really love is little Gus Gus right here. Look at him. Oh, I love it. The ride that I've been wanting to ride for a while now is in the 100 Acre Woods and I would love to go visit Pooh and his friends. I feel like that's a ride that I really don't get to do that often because it's usually a longer line but it's one of my all time favorite rides. Like when you go into the one scene with Heffa Lumps and Woozles, it's like, it's, it's amazing. I did want to stop and check the wait time for Seven Doors Mine Train. It's a posted 90 minute wait right now. And this is one of the harder lines to wait in because it's all outside and there's not too much protection from the sun. So it'll be a good idea to bring an umbrella or at least one of those portable fans, especially if you're going to stand in one spot for almost an hour and a half. Lucky for us, Winnie the Pooh probably isn't going to be a 90 minute wait. It might be a little bit high, but it's not going to be 90 minutes high. It's actually only 40 minutes, which isn't that bad at all. Look at that. And most of the queue has got tons of shade. I mean, honestly, you could see where the actual sun is, and then this is all shade along here. So this is a good wait. Honestly, I would definitely say 25, 30 minutes, and I would take that any day for a little Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> here comes our honey pot. <laughs> Ooh, somebody lost a mask. Thanks, honey. 
Leave it up to Winnie the Pooh to put you in great spirits to start off the day. I love that ride. I have no idea what like connection. So like I didn't even grow up on Winnie the Pooh, but for some reason when you go into half a lump of woozles and then the rain scene, I just like dark rides in general, I feel like. And I feel like that's one of the best ones out there. Now I think I'm gonna make my way over to Adventureland. I want to get something nice and ice cold and refreshing And there's a couple places over there. Maybe even a Dole Whip, but wow look at this view right here You know, it's funny when you're just walking amongst the park and then all of a sudden you just see like the carousel the castle the beanstalk the princess fairy tale hall It's actually so beautiful with the great blue skies in the background. I love Magic Kingdom <laughs> It is so magical I actually have a great idea of something I want to get. Something I've never had before that can possibly be a little bit different. Oh, but wait a second. Oh, and we got Peter, Moana, Alice. I love it. Oh, and there's Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mary! I love when you're just standing there and you hear the music kick on and you're just like, oh, something's coming. <laughs> it's so fun. It looks like somebody dropped a whole can of Pringles. Look at that. I can't tell which ones they are. Are they the cheesy ones or the pizza ones? What a shame, though. Such a sad thing about the Pringles, but I bet the ducks are going to love it. And what I'm talking about, something a little bit different, I'm talking about here at the Sunshine Tree Terrace, I think we're gonna get ourselves a float, but it's gonna be a little bit of a different kind of float. An orange Powerade float. Thank you. Look at this fancy thing. <laughs> you can basically create your own like float. All you do is pick your flavor Dole Whip and then a fountain beverage, and then you combine them. So I went Powerade and orange Dole Whip. What a combination. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we're gonna find out. It melted a little bit already. I'm just gonna go in and get a little bit at the bottom. Go ahead, mix that orange Dole Whip with that Mountain Berry Powerade. That's the way, and give it a little sip. Probably gonna be nice and refreshing. Ooh, that is good. Actually, I don't taste the Dole Whip. Oh, there it was, there it was. You get the Dole Whip afterwards because the power weight is so strong, like that mountain berry blast. You get that orange Dole Whip afterwards, but it actually is really delicious. Yeah, wow, that's really good. Let me know in the comments what you would actually make as a float. Would you pick like Coke and then maybe vanilla or pineapple? Like what is your perfect Dole Whip float combination? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if this one is gonna be my perfect one, but I think I'm gonna try a couple of them now. Anytime I come to Magic Kingdom, I'm gonna be like, all right, how can I mix and match this? I'm trying to like pinpoint a taste that I can kind of help describe it to you, but I'm really not coming up with anything. It's, Unique on its own. Definitely tastes like a Halloween uh, float though. Like if I were to picture something being like uh, seasonal or something like that, this would be like a Halloween one. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what melts quicker, the Dole Whip or the paper straw here. So I think I'm going to have to switch to a, a spoon here and finish up the rest. These kind of just deteriorate very fast. There we go. Right in there. Now that we're all finished up with our... Powerade orange Dole Whip float, which sounds really funny to say, but it was actually really delicious. I think we're gonna head on over to the Jungle Cruise, see what the wait time's like, and uh, maybe go for a little uh, expedition. The Tiki Gods are out back again, soaking people and keeping everyone cool. Look at that. It's awesome to see these running. I don't know when they started up again, but it's been a while, I feel like. I kind of want to stand in here and get misted. He looks angry, though. I don't know if I'm gonna get misted by him. See that one over there, that's the one I probably want to get misted by. Yes, we're taking in the misting. We're taking it in. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, get it. oh boy, 60 minutes from here. This is another ride where at least most of the queue is underneath something in, in the shade instead of being outside under the sun. Oh, here comes our tour boats. Look at that skipper. Ooh. 
Attention skippers, the use of Jungle Navigation Company boats for daredevil trips around Schweitzer Falls is strictly prohibited. And we'll wave goodbye to the nice people waiting in line. Goodbye, people waiting in line after the hour of waiting. Oh, you brought snacks. <laughs> the only snack on this boat is all on driving right now. Welcome to the world famous jungle cruise, folks. I shall be your skipper, Skipper Nigel. I shall be your navigator, your life instructor. And if you don't laugh at my jokes, well, then your swim instructor. <laughs> Here in the Amazon. <laughs> Here in the Amazon, it rains about 365. Came up with a tremendous idea of earning more money, so we started renting out our own personal boats. We even opened up a cafe, so let's see how business is going, shall we? say I have ridden the Jungle Cruise hundreds of times but Skipper Nigel was the best skipper I think I've ever had. He was so amazing. He was telling jokes I'd never heard before and it, it's, it was he was seriously the best. His voice literally sounded like Nigel Thornberry and his name is Nigel. It, it was really mind-blowing. Kudos to Skipper Nigel. You were amazing.
I decided to hop from Adventureland over to Frontierland because I need to come into the Frontier Mercantile. I need to get something that I lost the other day and it definitely needs to be replaced. I was riding Rise of the Resistance and I had my like head against the wall like this and then Kylo Ren came out and he was trying to interrogate us and I turned my head real quick and the back caught my cow puncher badge and ripped it off and broke it. Kylo Ren used the force to snatch away my cow puncher badge so I need to replace it. It looks like I don't see any cow punchers. I see cow poke, I see darling, I see trail boss, I see princess, I love horses, but no cow puncher. Looks like they're all sold out. They are sold out of the cow puncher badges. I asked somebody and they said, sorry, a couple people have asked for them and they're all sold out. So I don't wanna buy a new one. I think I'm just gonna wait it out and I'm gonna be a little bit badgeless for a while, but I will get my cow puncher badge back once they do stock up. I mean, I feel like it belongs to this hat. I don't wanna put it on any other hat. That cow puncher badge has now been at the bottom of the Tower of Terror elevator shaft. It's been ripped off my hat from Kylo Ren with the force. It's got history so we're gonna wait we're gonna get a cow puncher when they're available oh my lord take a look at this feeding circle it looks like a bunch of turkey legs got tossed in the middle of this circle by the liberty square marketplace and the birds are literally feasting this is so funny holy moly look at there's tons of them one two three four five six there's like eight different turkey legs in there and they're having a buffet Honestly, seeing those birds have an all-you-can-eat turkey leg buffet kind of in a circle pit was one of the coolest things I've seen at Magic Kingdom. I really, really thought that was awesome. I was thinking about either doing Peter Pan or It's a Small World. One is a 45-minute wait, it looks like, and I'm not too sure about Peter Pan. I guess we'll take a look-see, and I think we'll do whatever one has the shortest wait. 45 minutes for Small World, and then we're going to creep up here and check out Peter Pan. I think It's a Small World is going to win, but I really hope Peter Pan does. 50 minutes. Okay, so for the extra five minutes, I'm doing Peter Pan's flight. Definitely worth the extra five minutes. I mean, it, it was about 40 minutes per se, but I'm sure if this was 40 minutes, Small World probably would have been like 20. But I mean, Peter Pan is a much better ride to me, I think. I love it, it's, it's a classic. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. <laughs> Maybe we can't fly. That's the one right here. <laughs> oh yeah. How are you? Ooh, magic. <laughs> Off to Neverland. I'm so happy I decided to do Peter Pan's flight. I mean, overall, I would have liked both of the rides, but like I said, Peter Pan's flight is so much better. You know what I mean? And if you have to wait just a couple extra minutes to ride it, I would definitely do that one. And it also looks like we got some rain rolling in here. Like we're gonna get a thunderstorm maybe. The weather is very unpredictable. 
Like for one second, it's nice and clear skies over there, and then dark and gloomy over here. Might as well start making our way back down Main Street, USA. Oh man, I just love being here though. Like, <laughs> give me two hours in the park and it literally can cure the blues and just make you feel great about the day. I think instead of walking through the castle this time, we'll take a uh, little pathway on the uh, side of it. Definitely looks less crowded. A lot of people coming through those archways. <laughs> We're going to go to the side today. Instead of going right back to Main Street, USA, I think we have time we can get another ride in before the rain comes. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So we're gonna cut through Tomorrowland here. Look at the tracks on the pavement here in Tomorrowland. Looks like there was a gigantic dump trunk or a monster truck actually driving through here. Driving right on into the teacups. I actually feel like a I actually feel like I'm racing the clouds behind me. Like they're coming creeping over me, getting darker and darker and darker. So we gotta find a ride and hop on it quick. Tomorrowland Speedway maybe? And now. Space Mountain? Not our dino. Wait a second, holy moly. This is all the line for Space Mountain? I have never seen it this long before. What? I cannot believe the line for Space Mountain starts here. Hi friends! It starts actually over at the Galactic Gateway stage and then goes all the way around Tomorrowland behind the stage and then back over to the front of Space Mountain where it starts doing all of its regular switchbacks and it says it's only a 60 minute wait. There's not a possibility. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen the line this long for Space Mountain. Like, honestly, you go from here all the way around, and it's going behind that stage, too, and then coming out over on this side, over here. And I'm, I'm kind of just, like, mind blown. Like, holy moly. Look at that. It's going along the paint side. Wow. I mean, it's, it's got to be 60 minutes just outside on its own. And then, like I said, all the regular switchbacks. Like, it's not like these switchbacks are gone. Like, this is still here. Holy moly. That really has to be the longest Space Mountain line I've ever seen. Wow. Like, has, I, has anyone else ever seen it like that? I don't think I have. Like, I understand with social distancing and everything like that, but there's no social distancing in there anymore. Like, there's, there's nothing. So, like, I remember seeing the lines, like, extended out, like, huge whenever we had, like, uh, six feet and then three feet. But there was nothing there anymore. So, like, I don't know how that could be 60 minutes. It's got to be at least over an hour. I was planning on going to the People Mover, but it doesn't look like it's any better here. The line starts there and goes all the way in there. It must be at least 45 minutes. It definitely is a busy July day. I mean, I, this is kind of what I would expect. I'm not mad about it because I feel like it's July. I came here today knowing it's going to be super, super busy. So like, you know, I take full responsibility for the wait time. Well, I don't take responsibility. Don't blame me because they're long, but I, 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 uh, I don't expect them to be short, as what I'm saying. <laughs> Honestly, I think we need the fast passes back. Thank you. What do you guys think about that Space Mountain line? Hey, did you just nip him in the butt? Did you just do that? I think I just caught that happen. Yeah, I don't got no food. I got nothing for you. <laughs> Sorry, I got much love for you though. Well, you heard it from the ducks. It is crazy out here. Long lines, very hot. Still absolutely magical though. It's funny how you can be hot, sweaty, gross, and still just in awe of Magic Kingdom. But I think I am done here for the day. I had some fun. We got to ride some rides. We got to eat a orange Powerade Dole Whip float. That sounds so amazing. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it a night and head on out of here before we get a little bit of rain and maybe uh, avoid some of the traffic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, it looks like we have a nice little lineup here saying goodbye. We've got Donald, Minnie, Mickey, Pluto, Daisy. Why is Goofy never up here? I'd love to see the Goof up here dancing and hanging out. Oh, look, we got some bubbles in the show too. 
<laughs> Bye friends, have a great night. Here she comes, just a walking down the street, singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. Look at her. <laughs> I'm not too sure if you guys ever heard the definition of a golden hour, but this is it right here. Isn't this insane? This is Florida right here. This is the golden hour. It is so amazing.